Man, it's hot. Whew. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. Um, kind of a late start. Not the uh, usual first thing Monday morning or if you're on Patreon Sunday video. Uh, if I'm honest, my brain's still not working at 100% and uh, had a little some family things going on this weekend. So again, I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to talk about uh, well, revisit one thing and then talk about a small thing that I've gained a new appreciation for. I want to revisit the Crust Clydesdale Fork. Now, I'm pretty sure I talked about this a year or so ago. Um, I had gotten one of these forks from Matt. I've sold them in the past, um, but I'd gotten one of these forks from Matt and I had an old Raleigh mountain bike that I had taken in on trade and I built up, you know, switched the fork out and just so that I could see what it was all about. And it wasn't until after I got the build finished that I realized that there was a crack in the head tube because apparently I wasn't paying attention. Um, but I rode it like that for a couple of years and just kind of kept an eye on the crack. And then when Surly discontinued the long haul trucker, that would be the rim brake trucker. Um, they still had a couple of frames laying around and I picked one up in my size and, you know, swapped everything over. The Clydesdale fork was designed so that you could take an old 26 inch wheel mountain bike and turn it into a cycle truck, a cargo bike, or even a touring bike. Um, and to that end, it works very, very well. Now I know even though it was designed for bikes with 26 inch wheels, Matt's got some measurements on there so you can kind of figure out whether it's gonna work with your bike or not. I've also seen it built up with bikes with different size wheels. I've seen it with 700C wheels, I've seen it with 650B wheels. At the end of the day, as long as this platform here is level with the ground, you're likely gonna have a good result. So what I've found is where I'm living now is a, an RV park of sorts, and it's about a mile and a half around. And there's a central location for the mail, and there's a central location for cardboard recycling and trash. The, the big pool is on the other side of the park. And over the last couple of weeks, I have ridden this bike exclusively. Most people have golf carts. I have this. <laughs> and it has just reinforced my initial feeling that it, this thing just makes for a really, really, not only functional, but really nice riding bike. So the way it works is you have to have a 20 inch wheel. You can run it with rim brakes or disc brakes. So if you have an old mountain bike with V brakes, I mean, you just mount those V brakes to the back side of the fork and uh, you're good to go. The fork itself comes in either one inch or inch and an eighth. The one inch uh, is threadless and I believe still comes with a one inch threadless headset. So, you know, really taken care of from that standpoint. And then you just need a 20 inch wheel. Um, and, you know, you can most oftentimes, if you've got a bike shop in town, in your town, that does a lot of BMX, you can likely come up with a, a either a ready-made front wheel or, you know, take them a hub and they can, they can build you one. So then once you get the fork on the bike, 
then you can decide you know how you want to carry whatever it is that you're going to carry i've seen a lot of the coroplast uh, mail totes used um, i used a big walled basket walled actually calls it their giant delivery basket and if you've got a bike shop in your town that has a JMB account, which I can't imagine that there's any bike shops in this country that don't have JMB accounts, they sell that giant delivery basket without the hardware. The fork itself has eyelets in it, five millimeter uh, brazons. And I just took the basket, took some old rack struts and kind of flattened them out and then used that to screw the basket down to the rack. You'll also notice there's some Velcro uh, on those rack struts. I used to have a, a piece of Coroplast in the bottom of the basket, uh, an old Trek, Trek Fest sign that I cut up. And when I left Indianapolis, I thought to myself, I wonder if I should take that off. Um, and ultimately I didn't. And in the wee dark hours of the morning, in the middle of Georgia somewhere, a semi flashed its lights at me. And it wasn't until I got here and went to get the bikes off the bike rack that I noticed that my piece of Coroplast was gone, which is likely why he was flashing his lights at me. Um, so if anybody out there in the in Georgia somewhere, I can I could not tell you. It may, may have been around Valdosta actually. Now that I think about it, uh, if anybody finds an old uh, what looks like it might have been a a Trek Fest sign uh, with a couple of pieces of Velcro on it, do let me know, would you please? Um, I think this is a great project. If you've got an old 26-inch mountain bike laying around, if you go if you can find one on Craigslist or eBay or uh, at your local swap meet, and you just want a really, really functional bike, uh, I think it's a good way to go. And you don't want a dedicated cargo bike. I mean, I still have the, the fork that came with the frame, and if, you know, if I wanted to, I suppose at some point I could take the Clydesdale fork off and I could put the, the uh, LHT fork back in it, 26-inch uh, front wheel, and I've got a long-haul trucker again. Uh, as of last night, Matt has these in stock. Um, I have no, I get no financial gain uh, if he sells them or not. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. And if, like I said, if you don't want a dedicated like long tail cargo bike, but you still want something that you can carry more stuff than just a touring bike with panniers and a and a one thirty seven front basket. I think this is a great way to go. The other thing that I've gotten a new appreciation for is the Surly junk strap with loop. Now that's something that I'd never really played with a whole lot any, uh, you know, up until now. Uh, but that, that's uh, again, one of those things that Surly kind of comes up with that seems on its face uh, incredibly simple. And why would they go to the, to the trouble? But, uh, it's a super long toe strap where the end, you know, there's, it's two pieces and they both have loops sewn into the end. And so instead of going all the way around something, you can kind of just attach it in the, you know, strap it in the middle. I'm not explaining it well. Um, but again, very simple very inexpensive, those I do have in stock. And uh, yeah, a million and one uses, to be sure. I hope you're all doing well. As I said, uh, I've been here two weeks and I'm, my brain still is not fully functional. I shot this video initially at the shop, which you know still looks like a bomb went off in there. Uh, but you know, I'll get it sorted out eventually. Thank you all for watching. Uh, thanks for the great comments, as always. Nicest comment section in all of the internets. Uh, and until next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon. Better believe it. <laughs>